डियर चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट टू ऑफ यूनिट सिक्स दैट इज फ्रैक्शन एंड दिस एक्सरसाइज इज बेस्ड ऑन फ्रैक्शन एज पार्ट ऑफ अ होल सो होल कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू एनी नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स बट ऑल द पार्ट्स शुड बी इक्वल इन साइज सो लेट एस सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टिक द फिगर डिवाइडेड इन टू इक्वल पार्ट्स नाउ हेयर सम फिगर्स आर गिवन एंड वी हैव टू टिक ओनली दोज फिगर्स विच यू विल फाइंड दैट इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू इक्वल पार्ट्स मीन्स इक्वल नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स एंड दैट टू ऑफ इक्वल साइज फाइन सो द फर्स्ट फिगर इज डिवाइडेड इन टू इक्वल पार्ट्स बट द साइज ऑफ ऑल द पार्ट्स इज डिफरेंट सो वी कैन नॉट डि पुट अ टिक हेयर बिकॉज इट इज नॉट डिवाइडेड इन टू इक्वल पार्ट्स नाउ लेट इज सी पार्ट b now here this triangle is divided into two parts and the size of both the parts is equal so yes we can put a tick here that this figure is divided into two equal parts okay now the third one again this figure is divided into four parts but all the four parts are not equal so we cannot put a tick here now the last one this circle is divided into three parts but not equal parts all the three parts are not equal so here in the first question there is only one figure this triangle that is divided into two equal parts where the size of both the parts is equal now let's see question number 2 टेक द फिगर्स विच आर डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर इक्वल पार्ट्स नाउ हेयर वी हैव फोर फिगर्स एंड वी हैव टू टिक ओनली दोज फिगर्स विच आर डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर इक्वल पार्ट्स नॉट ओनली फोर पार्ट्स बट ऑल द फोर पार्ट्स शुड बी इक्वल सो लेट एस सी द फर्स्ट फिगर इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट्स सो वी कैन नॉट पुट अ टिक हेयर नाउ द सेकेंड वन इज डिवाइडेड इन टू फोर पार्ट्स बट ऑल द फोर पार्ट्स आर नॉट इक्वल सो अगेन वी कैन नॉट पुट अ टिक हेयर now the third one this figure is divided into four parts and all the four parts are equal so yes we can put a tick here and the last one again this circle is divided into four parts and all the four parts are equal so we can put a tick here so out of all these figures these are the two figures which are divided into four equal parts now let us move on to the next question question number 3 Take the figures which are divided into three equal parts. Now here we have to put a tick on the figures which are divided into three equal parts. Not three parts, but three parts should be equal. So the first figure is divided into three parts, but the size of all the three parts is not equal. So we cannot put a tick here. Now let us see the second one. Here this second figure is divided into three parts, and all the three parts are equal so we can put a tick here now the next one it is divided into three parts but the size of all the three parts is not same so we cannot put a tick here now the last one this rectangle is divided into three parts and all the three parts are equal means the size of all the three parts is equal so here in this uh, question these are only two figures which are having three equal parts Now let us go through question number four. Divide the figure into number of parts written. Now in the previous questions, figures were already divided into parts. Now here in this question, figures are given to us, and we have to divide these figures into the number of parts given to us. So the first figure, that is this rectangle, we have to divide this rectangle into three equal parts. So I have divided this rectangle into three equal parts. now the second figure this circle we have to divide this circle into two equal parts again i have divided it horizontally like this but you can divide it vertically also fine now the last one this square we have to divide this square into four equal parts for that you need to join all the corners so from here you can divide uh, you can join from left to right and then from top to bottom or bottom to top so this is how you can divide this square into four equal parts so we have divided all the three given figures into equal number of parts that is given under the figures so i hope you would have understood all the questions that we have done today thank you let's call it in the crossfire Oh, 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 oh.